a significant day in the American Athletic Conference history, adding in six new members, one of those UAB. The Blazers have proven to be winners on and off the field. There's brand new facilities all over campus. Here for more on UAB Athletics is the Director of Athletics, Mark Ingram. Mark, first off, welcome to the conference. Really appreciate you taking the time to join us today. UAB Athletics has experienced major changes during your six-year tenure. Where does this move to the American rank in those? Well, thanks for having us. We're thrilled for the opportunity, obviously. And uh, to your point, we've spent uh, the last six and a half years focused on building our infrastructure, uh, which is facilities and renovations uh, for, for our coaches who could then go and recruit great student athletes, uh, which produce wins on the field. And uh, that, that hasn't changed and won't change, quite frankly. And that's, that's been our plan. Uh, and what we've been wanting to do is provide them a world-class experience, our student athletes, the same one uh, in athletics that they're getting in the classroom at UAB at this world-class university. Well, speaking of change, one of those major changes that you were a part of, reinstating the football program. What impact has that had on where this athletic department is today? Well, it's critical. Uh, as you know, uh, so many conferences require you to have football to be a member. Uh, and so reinstating football meant uh, we were able to remain in the same conference we had been. Uh, we were able to continue competing uh, but it, it lifted our department uh, in a way that uh, couldn't be described really. And uh, then the success that we've had due to all the infrastructure we've put in place has been tremendous. We've won our division in Conference USA three straight years. We've won the championship two of those three years and no other member in the history of the conference has done that. Uh, and so to do that in only four years back is tremendous. And we're having another solid year so far uh, in this particular season. So uh, we could we hope to continue having great success. You've got a brand new stadium that opened this season for your football team, protective stadium. What has this done for your fan base? Oh, they're so excited. <laughs> Look, protective stadium may be the nicest college football stadium in America. I, I realize I'm required to say that as the AD <laughs> here, but it really is that special. And, and everybody that has been here to visit says that and says how amazing it is and how fun it is. And it's just uh, so well designed and really promotes social gathering and, and community fellowship uh, uh, for, for all fans of all ages. Uh, young people love it. Uh, our diehard fans love it. New people that have lived in Birmingham or in the outer uh, areas who come in to see it, they just, they marvel at it. It's really a gorgeous place and a lot of fun. We've alluded to these facility investments happening really all over campus. When American opponents travel to Birmingham here in a couple of years, what do they have to look forward to? Well, Birmingham is a terrific city. It's uh, kind of a sleeping giant here in the South uh, uh, that a lot of people kind of considered a, a well-kept secret here. I mean, we're, we're over 1.2 million people in greater Birmingham, and a lot of people don't realize that. And to be a city of this size and not have a professional sports team means that so many of our fans want to invest in us. And, and they do so. They do so by coming to our games and watching us on television and, and following us. And so we have great support here. And it's a beautiful, vibrant city that, that our mayor and City Council have worked very hard and our, and our county uh, commissioners have all worked so hard to build and rebuild and revitalize. Uh, we have a great food scene here mm -hmm. in, in Birmingham and um, it's just a, a lot of fun. I think fans from other schools will find this to be a terrific place to visit. You already have a natural rivalry in this conference uh, with Memphis and the Battle of the Bones game there in football. What is your argument for Birmingham having the better ribs? <laughs> well, I don't know if you know, but I enjoy uh, a good meal. And uh, I've had some of the best ribs in Memphis and I had some of the best ribs in Birmingham. And uh, as you might imagine, um, I, I believe Birmingham strongly gets the nod. But uh, we'll welcome them back. That'll be a lot of fun. The old Battle of the Bones, which, by the way, UAB uh, uh, has 10 to 5 over Memphis. So we're looking forward to reuniting with them. And and having that great rivalry with their fans. It, we're only two and a half hours away and it's an easy interstate drive. 
uh, down here and, and back up there. So I'm, I'm expecting that our fans will love visiting Memphis as much as they love visiting Birmingham. Well, Memphis, they, they claim they have the better ribs. You claim that you all have the better ribs. So I'll be the tiebreaker here in a couple of years when I make my first trip to Birmingham. Uh, lastly, we'll settle it on the field. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is the number one thing, the last question I have for you, that really stands out about the UAB Blazers that you want the American and all of its fans to know? Well, you know, UAB is a world-class medical research institution. And, you know, our, our president, Dr. Watts, has done such a beautiful job of, of transforming our campus and into a, a gorgeous urban uh, campus. And it, it really has a lot of green space and a lot of trees. And it's just very unexpected when you get here. Um, and, and that's something that I noticed when I first arrived. And even in my time here, the work that he's done to build new classroom buildings and new dormitories and, um, and, you know, and of course our, our athletic spaces, uh, we, we're very confident that, that other fans when they visit and other student athletes and coaches when they visit are gonna be really pleased with what they see here at UAB. Mark, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day. Welcome to the conference. We are thrilled to have you on board here at the American Athletic Conference. Thank you so much, have a great day.